Hello, Jim Keener, Certified College Planner. We're going to take a quick look at ePrep's SAT diagnostic software. It's free, so check it out. Here we have the subject areas, reading, math, and writing. These are the tests. As you can see, it times you. These are the total questions. We went ahead and answered some questions on the first test, 24 questions. 18 were right, 6 were wrong. Now let's move to the review section. Click on the reading. It loads the review area. The questions marked in red are the ones that are missed. And then right here it tells you the level of difficulty. And we'll just go down here and look at question number 22. We're going to see what the private tutor has to say. In lines 32 through 40, the author suggests which of the following about petroleum v. NASME. So let's take a quick look at those lines. The lie began its course on the coast of the Pacific in 1864, when an article likened me in personal appearance to the distinctly unhandsome petroleum v. NASME. For 25 years afterward, no critic could furnish a description of me without including a reference to NASME to help out the portrait. I knew Nasby well, and he was a good fellow, but in my life I have not felt angry enough toward any more than three persons to accuse those persons of resembling Nasby. It hurts me to the heart. I would stop right there, or maybe I'll keep going one more line. I was always handsome. So I think that's clearly enough. In those lines, the author suggests which of the following about Nasby, that he was not an intelligent man, no talk at all about his intelligence, he was a dishonest man, no talk at all about whether he was honest or not, he was a good fellow. He was not friendly, no talk of that. He was not good looking, yes, he was unhandsome, he was not good looking. Certainly a suggested, <coughs> you could even argue that it was actually said. He was not well dressed, no, that's not it. He was not good looking, I would pick D with confidence and quickly move on. That would be the review video review and that's available for each test question here if you want the written explanation you would click here down here below the videos related subject lessons uh, and this is just some additional information that you can check out when you sign up for your free trial here is where you can upgrade to the full version uh, the diagnostic tool does not cover the Woods wordsmith vocabulary it doesn't have the video lessons here over 100 videos and it doesn't have multiple tests it just has the one test so go check out your free trial thank you for your time good luck with your test prep